Legal aid is absolutely fundamental to human rights. We're talking about a two billion legal aid budget. Legal aid, access to justice, are such important issues. On their mountain. Today is about making the case for legal aid. It's about hearing from clients themselves about why legal aid was so vital to them in their life. Legal aid is as essential as any other part of the welfare state. To me, certainly as precious as state education or the National Health Service. Uh, cutting back any further on legal aid is the equivalent of saying to a chronically sick person you will get no medical help until you are literally at death's door. And that's not the kind of country that I want to live in. We have an agenda of rights, duties and responsibilities, obviously. Now if those duties and responsibilities are going to be pursued, if they are going to be enforced, how else can you do it if you don't have advice and representation with regard to them when you are being evicted, when you have problems with your divorce, when you have problems in a criminal court, whatever. So legal aid is absolutely fundamental. What we know is that 80% of the people who use civil legal aid are from the poorest one-fifth of the population and we know that these cuts are going to disproportionately affect disabled people, people from ethnic minority backgrounds and women. That's the government's own assessment. My concern is that legal aid as it stands doesn't cover the whole tapestry of life at all. There are big gaps, inquests for example is one of them, and there are big gaps in legal aid already, but when you get a Minister of Justice coming on and saying he's going to cut basically civil legal aid for example by 40% in a situation where it's not fully applicable anyway. This is, and he's going to in the process cut out nearly all social and welfare law. What is there left? And so the, I think therefore I'm concerned about those practitioners who are trying to provide a service and they're so demoralized. Law centers are closing. I mean they're far fewer than they used to be. That's in metropolitan areas. Practitioners, solicitors and barristers are saying, what's the point we can't battle on in these circumstances? I think we have to be clear that after a period of relative boom in, in public services where there was increased public spending, legal aid has already been squeezed as far as it can be. Uh, law firms have already gone out of business and most ordinary people in this country are already completely removed from the protection of legal aid. All that is left are the poorest the absolute poorest in this country and if you take the protection away from them that means they'll lose their kids without legal advice and representation be they from Nigeria or Northampton that means that they won't get advice on their mounting debts and on the impossibility of understanding their benefits until it's too late because they're about to be made homeless. I'm making the point that the public have a right to know where this is all coming from. And basically we have an environment in which they're being told, everybody's got to have cuts, I don't accept it. I don't accept these cuts should be across the board. Of course I don't want exceptions for anybody, but I think whether it's the National Health Service, hospitals, education, local authority, public service workers, I don't, they're all the wrong targets. And I think this is not a question of, you know, if a government wants to find money to fight a war, it finds it. If it wants to, as it were, clamp down on the banking sector, it could do, it has refused to do that for all sorts of reasons. So I'm one of those, I'm afraid, who doesn't say, you know, legal aid has got to be an exception. I'm saying none of this should be happening. And in fact, legal aid is going to be more necessary in an environment which cuts are coming down. Everybody that cares about access to justice in this country now needs to lobby their own local MP, whatever their party and make the case that legal aid is not about lawyers' fees and their interests any more than the NHS is actually about doctors. It's about ordinary people. It's about getting the protection that they so, so desperately need. If these cuts go through, it is going to be virtually impossible to sustain good quality service for everybody who needs it.